Ali Democratic Forces has for some time been a thorn in the flesh of the Renzori sub-region residents whom they one time killed at will. A case in point is the family of Kinume where the rebels killed 19 family members randomly in one night. Kinume says, though the rebels were later repulsed by the army, many people were lying dead and only three persons survived the bullet wounds. A former student at St. John's Seminary, Kibrara, Baliabuka Emma was among the 21 abducted by ADF when they raided the school in 1997. They also burned school vehicles and looted property. The rebels attacked our school. It was a Saturday night. And we are on out for entertainment. So we are on the school compound. We unfortunately had gunshots. So as we had plates, our age, everybody had to look for the way to escape. So we just had the guys entering with huge torches looking for us. So later in the night, they, they tied us in one rope, all of us 21, in one rope. So whenever someone would like to, to urinate, Tie one and the, 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 the guard goes with one. But Yabuka says ADF is not fighting to take over power, but fighting religious war with the specific objective of Islamizing the world. And we started after training, they divided us. So as they trained us, the first, their first step was to convert us. converted us into Islamic religion and they could convert one at a time. No one could know each other one's secret. They take you, they convert you today. They take me the other side, they convert me. Baliabuka says after one year, he was made a commander and headed a group meant to fetch food for the high command. Baliabuka said it was during this trust that he made sure he plans his escape and was able to report to Mbende Ame Barracks after walking for several weeks. Meanwhile, local leaders in Kasesa district warned that they will not spare anybody identified as a collaborator in Kasesa. Kasesa ODC Lieutenant Joy Rusimbi said emphasis has been put on entry points to the district, including the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo at Mpondwe, Wiriha, which the ADF used to attack Uganda during the 1996 insurgency. So for these ones, the bombing and what, we are, our intelligence is on the ground, our forces are on the ground. There is nothing to worry Uganda and all Kasese people that anything will get us by surprise. That one has strongly say no, it won't. Because as I talk now, the borders are well manned, even the polar one. So we have no problem with that. You know, this, this one is like as if you'll be attacked by malaria. You can't know that tomorrow you'll be with malaria, but surprisingly, you wake up or find yourself with it after a test. But now for us, these incidents from Kampala and where have put us in an organized way. Western Region Special Presidential Assistant Bishop Zibidi Masareka questioned the youth in the Renzori region against 
indulging themselves in subversive activities. We can do that by uh, making sure that uh, we, 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 we encourage our children to, to be aware that there are some people who may attract them to join uh, those negative uh, groups, destructive groups.